Mr. Salazar. Mr. Running for political office can be daunting. I have delivered on the promises for the state of Colorado that I have made in the past, and I will do the same thing in the future. But when you have a clear vision and a strong work ethic, people take notice. Ken Salazar's 1998 run for Colorado Attorney General kicked off his distinguished career in public service. However, at the time, some doubted his potential, in part because of his heritage. I think it was always doubt from other people that I uh, could, first of all, uh, win an election, and second of all, once uh, being in office, that I could serve effectively. And that he did. In 2004, Salazar became the first Latino elected to represent Colorado in the U.S. Senate. Uh, the fact that uh, the people of the state of Colorado have uh, given me uh, this responsibility and this trust is something that uh, I'm honored. There, he achieved immense success, particularly in the field of energy policy. Uh, we were successful in passing the most historic pieces of energy legislation in the history of the United States, which still stand today and will continue to guide the energy future of the United States. His expertise on issues of energy, the environment, and natural resources garnered the attention of President Barack Obama. And in 2009, Salazar was appointed as the United States Secretary of Interior. During his tenure, he oversaw the exploration and development of conventional and renewable energy resources on the nation's public lands and oceans. He also led conservation efforts that included the creation of 10 national parks and 10 national conservation and wildlife refuges. It was to move forward with uh, conservation and historic preservation and making sure that we are inclusive of uh, communities and people who had been left out, women, uh, Latinos, African Americans who had never been a part of that history. As a prominent politician of Hispanic heritage, he opened the doors to many Latinos seeking public office. Secretary Salazar has been a trailblazer for uh, Latinos serving in uh, public office as well as um, government at all levels. Uh, he is a person who has stayed true to his roots in southern Colorado in the San Luis Valley where his family has lived for generations. And he has taken that humble rural background and he has shared that with the world on the largest of platforms. It was in the San Luis Valley where he learned the values that would guide him throughout his life. He is a leader of strong faith who is devoted to his family and loves the outdoors. I think I took uh, the love of uh, the land and the water and the wildlife, the beauty of the mountains and the outdoors, the conservation, uh, the ethic that we had in the San Luis Valley as I was growing up really is what guided my time as, uh, in all of my offices. Throughout his life, Salazar has worked to create a more equal, just society where everyone has the potential to achieve their dreams, just as he was able to do. I, I grew up in a time of significant discrimination against uh, people of color and Latinos, and I saw that discrimination firsthand. And so I became, as a civil rights lawyer, which I did for a part of the time uh, as a young lawyer, fighting against discrimination, against the segregation of people by races. The Salazar family continues to help and mentor the next generation of leaders in the Latino community, while his legacy extends far beyond Colorado. It is absolutely necessary for us to have faces that look like us and that are us representing us. And with leaders like Secretary Salazar, he has shown us that it is possible at all levels of government for us to have a seat at the table and for us to advocate for our needs and our priorities. To know that um, anything is possible for you as a human being, if you believe strongly in your cause and you have a passion for the cause, uh, you will make it happen. people